Oop. Talking about some more mono plata. Check it out. So when he's on his side, we talked about this in the last video and the other day, when he's on his side and he gets his underhook and he starts to throw that underhook, I don't try and trap with the whiz or anything in this particular technique. I throw my weight and then I throw it back, trying to chop my foot so it's not like this. I'm here, so I really throw my weight, it kills that underhook. Yeah, I already start to grab my knee. I know I'm gonna go towards the mono plata. This leg starts to step in front of his head. I start to curve around, my butt comes down to the ground. I'm pulling my knee up and he's starting to tap. So we know that, but we drill that, we're looking at it from different positions. Come back here a little bit. A good place to do it, uh, half guard like we just did, the drill. A good place to do it is maybe I'm in half guard, okay? Maybe I'm in half guard and when I go to, he's got his underhook and I'm like, uh oh, I wanna, I wanna throw my knee. I posture up and I throw my knee over here when his arm comes around me, I can step my leg up and then the huge factor right here, squeezing your knees, you can even push. So that there's no flexibility, I could literally do this. I don't have to be flexible to do this. And then I grab my knee, and even though I'm in quarter guard still, I start to rotate, and he's gonna tap already. Okay? Let's show it again from the half guard this way. All right. So he's got his underhook, and then I throw, he's up here, I squeeze my knee super tight, shift my foot in front, grab my knee. He's already starting to tap by the time I hit the ground, or not even halfway to the ground, really. Okay? So, the other thing that we can do, come back over here, on your back, or not on your back, on half guard, sorry, is I can force that by playing a half guard when I've got this wrist game. Okay? Doesn't matter if I'm here, here, you know, obviously if I have an underhook, I would rather pass. You know, a wizard, whatever the case may be, if I start to throw my weight, even if I put my hand on the ground, I can try and bait this, not bait or force it, kind of, by when I prop up and throw, I can put the arm over there, and I can squeeze, put my leg over, grab my knee, start to rotate, get the submission. The most simplest form is more of an advanced class that we're doing here today, so we didn't talk too much about this, but the most simplest form is when a guy hugs around you when you're mounted, that's super easy to step up, forcing one shoulder, bring him to his side. You always want him on his side. I'm here. I can go circle again towards the mono plata. You can push over and continue and try and attack an omo plata as well. But we were just trying to hit it from different positions in movement and real time grappling with intermediate grapplers and advanced grapplers. Thank you for checking out. All right, let's roll.